Hi, so I'm here with Sir Paul Pontellier of Chateau Margaux. Um, if you could first of all tell us how the 2010 harvest is looking. It's just fabulous. <laughs> we, it's almost embarrassing to, 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 to say such words, but 2010 looks almost as, if not uh, exactly as wonderful as last year at the same time. So we had a marvelous summer, the, 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 the driest, one of the driest summers we experienced. The grapes have reached today a wonderful level of concentration, of maturity, and so far all 10 really look like both all 9 and all 5. Are there many difference in characteristics of the grapes this year? We don't know yet, because at this point the grapes look pretty much the same. The real differences will, will be in the wine, and it's far too early to know which, which they are. So will all 10 taste rather like all 9 or rather like all 5? Is we don't we don't know yet. We have to wait a couple of weeks more. Okay. So we're here among the reception. Um, can you tell us what if anything is different this year with where you'll be bringing the grapes in? Well, it looks like a modern factory, and, okay. and as as you know, we have changed so many things since last year. We have now totally um, gravitarian system. Everything, everything is, is really, so many details has changed. Honestly, I don't think it will revolutionize uh, the wines of Margot. Actually, we, we would not like to. Um, we just want to, to give us uh, better possibilities to, to gain in purity, to gain in, in, in precision.